So in the final video of this series, we're going to add APNS notifications on top of our original um, local notifications. So if you don't know what APNS is, it's basically a way that lets you send notifications from your server to the user's phone while your app is still closed in the background. It's a service from Apple, it's free, and I'm pretty sure it's unlimited. And to continue with it, you will need a Apple developer account, a paid developer license. So the first thing that you need to do to set up these push notifications is set up an app ID and the certificates on Apple's developer portal website. So to do that, go to the Apple developer website. It's Apple developer, developer.apple.com. Go to the member center, sign in with your ID, then click app ID and create a new, register a new app ID. So we're gonna call this notifications tutorial. We're gonna use an explicit app ID. It has to be of the type, um, a reverse domain. A explicit app ID that we're gonna get from over here. So up here. Scroll down a bit further. And finally, we wanna enable an app service and the app service we wanna enable is push notifications. And then click continue. So as you can see, our app ID has been created and we can and we can press submit and there you go. Registration is complete. So now that we have our app ID, we wanna create a provisioning profile for it so we can link that to our app. So we click provisioning profiles, create a new one. We wanna do app development, continue. Select the app ID from this dropdown, continue again. Select all or whatever particular. Um, again, all the devices you wanna test on. Then just give it a name, so I'm gonna call this and then finally generate and then we can download that. So we need to link this profile to Xcode. So we get our thing, our profile from our downloads, drag it over the Xcode icon, just drop it on there. Nothing will happen. Quit out of Xcode and reopen it and open our project again. Now we just need to finally link our project to our profile. So we go build settings, provisioning profile, and then from this drop down, pro select the profile you want to use. Okay, so we have our app connected to our profile, which is authenticated to use APNS. So now we need to request a certificate. Um, now we need to request a device token. In APNS, your each particular device and each particular user is identified by a device token. Now where we request this token is here in the app delegate. So just under our register user notification settings. Again, application dot, this time register for remote notifications. This will run the code in the library to request that device token. Down the bottom, we need to add two more of these functions. So, fun, uh, so application. And the first one we need to do is a First one we need to do is handling getting that token. So did register for remote notifications with device token. This function here gives us our device token and gives us the opportunity to, to save it or send it to a server or do whatever we want with it. For this example, I'm just gonna print the token out over here. The next thing we need to do is we also need to handle any errors. There may be getting the device token. So if we scroll up, we can see did fail to register for remote notifications with error. And you should do error handling here, but because this is just a tutorial, I'm just gonna print line that error. So we have the first half of setting up push notifications on our device done. If we run, our example app on an actual iPhone. You have to run it on an actual iPhone. You can't do um, notifications in the simulator. 
we can see we'll get our device token. So my app started on my phone that I have plugged in with a USB cord. Here is our device token. So the final thing we need to do is work out how to actually send these notifications, which I'll cover in the next video.